All right, so we're on a campus, and I think we can all agree uh, free speech is a, is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, slightly overused, I would say, <laughs> these days. I, I feel like uh, we should all just sort of attend class and get to work. I'm not, not sure why everyone has to step onto a soapbox, but um, free speech is uh, free on campuses unless you're hearing ideas you don't like. Now, the hypocrisy is an interesting thing. The notion that there's a march on this and, uh, and a, a rally on that, and then somebody shows up to give a discussion about something you disagree with, and you demand that that person is shut down and unable to speak, is the definition of hypocrisy. Right, so they have an answer, because it's so obvious that it's bizarre to think that way. I'm for free speech, but I'm shutting down this conservative who's coming to the campus, right? Of course I'm for free speech. Of course I'm against hate speech. They don't understand that's the point of free speech. Well, by the way, hate speech, which I will define. That's correct. That's the second, that's the second flaw in their argument. Who defines it? The first flaw is free speech was never meant to protect love speech. That's not the point. Nobody ever debates love speech. So they don't get it. They just don't get it because they've never been taught it.